the book channel online hello book lovers i'm stephanie harris byers and welcome to the book channel online today we're speaking with writer novelist tony Lindsay, author of his latest title the killing breeze welcome tony thanks for having me and we want to talk about the killing breeze tell us about it it is a psychological thriller um about societal unrest in a a um a made-up city um I, I use a city called falcon city but with true and current issues that are affecting the black community like what it's an urban city and it's about police killings um basically but it's also about um societal oppression um the black community being um under attack in an urban environment so there's a lot of uh, institutional racism there's a lot of irony in the, in the piece a lot of satire so hopefully you'll um, you read it and you'll laugh a little. Were you inspired by the killings, the the police shootings of unarmed black men? A writer always has something to say, okay. But a good writer, a good black writer, has something to say about his community or her community. And this is my uh, saying about the police shootings. And it's a good book too. You know, it's a very good read. The white female reporter. How'd you come about? pairing her with with this story well i wanted two two points of view i wanted um um the black man's point of view but i also wanted a bigger a, a different scope I, I wanted it to be looked at outside of just his eyes outside of the one who was being attacked eyes although he wasn't attacked in a novel but you had his view you had the black view through him but I also wanted the white view. So I used her and I also used her family and the police officers through her. So that way I was able to bring in two points of view of the same problem. And so tell us about Dr. Breeze, because he's complicated. I think we all become complicated due to this system. Um, Dr. Breeze was a mental health patient um, and he, be he became a mental health patient due to his actions of uh, skinning a young um, white boy, a young white child. He skinned him and he wanted that skin. He was so sick in his belief that everything would be okay if he had white skin. So he skins this young boy and he tries to tape this skin on. And, and this is how he gets the attention of a psychologist who works for him, who, who I'm sorry, who becomes a psychologist. Um, and that's how he gets hooked up with the APS and he gets involved in the system through through his his admitted psychological crime and, and problem. How much research did you did, went into building this character? Well, quite a bit. I um, as an undergraduate student, I was a psychology major. So and um, I worked in mental health for probably 13, 14 years. Um, did a, so quite a bit, I would say, and it was life experiences as well as actual research. And the white character, to go back to that, so where'd you build upon getting her insights? I used a lot of, again, personal experience, but I used a lot of um, stereotypical, stereotypical replies that I heard off of um, from the media when, when they interviewed white Americans in regards to shootings. Um, you hear a lot of, Oh, it couldn't possibly be that bad. And well, they must have done something that wanted that, that justified the police shooting. It's never institutional. It's always something that the individual did. So I use that. I use the media to help develop her perspective. Does her empathy come in because she is dating a black guy? Her empathy comes from experience. It isn't until that riot that she sees that she understands completely because even though she's dating a black guy, she still has the privilege of that uh, of being white in America. She still, when those police officers pulled her over, they still interviewed her with respect. So she still has that privilege. So it isn't until she loses something or is pulled into what it's really like to be black in America does she develop that empathy. You started by saying your you, your your writing reflects a message. So what's the message? What what do you what do you want to tell your 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 new fans who are watching the book channel online. I like to consider myself a black experience writer. So as a black experience writer, I try to write about black experiences um, in America. This book 
is trying to speak to the injustice of the law enforcement system, of the legal system. I'm trying to speak to what is seen as, no, it's not that this individual did something wrong, but there is a society in place that's acting against this individual. That's what I want people to see. I get so tired of, oh, he must have done something. No, he didn't do anything wrong except be black. And hopefully the book will, will spark a little bit of new thinking. Hopefully it will um, cause us to look a little bit at, our, at ourselves as well too, because you see a lot of uh, stereotypes from black people too. How many titles are under your belt? Probably 14, 13, 14. Um, I had a, a, a mystery series. I have a mystery series called um, it's one dead, one dead preacher, one dead lawyer, one dead doctor. Um, currently thinking about one dead race man to throw that one in there. And so that's my mystery series. I have a street lit series. Um, um, More Boy Than Girl, Chasing It, and Urban Affair. Those are all street lit genres. And um, the social, social protest novels, Acorns in a Skillet, um, The Killing Breeze. So, you know, I try to write in different genres. Thank you for taking the time with us today. Thanks for having me again and all the best. And thank you for watching the Book Channel online. You can buy The Killing Breeze on QBR.com through our affiliate partnership with Amazon. I'm Stephanie Harris Byers. Watch us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As the pages turn, we'll see you next time on the Book Channel Online. The Book Channel Online.